Hello everybody, this is Dr. Cole. It's Sunday evening, November 13th, and we're now entering week 5 of Political Science 1013 on the second eight-week schedule for the fall of 2022 term. Everybody, just a couple of things at the outset. I will not be speaking to you again for two weeks, because of course after this week, we are on Thanksgiving break. So, the weekend after Thanksgiving, uh, around about Sunday the 27th, I will try to get a message out that you will see more than likely on Monday the 28th after Thanksgiving break. But there will be no message going out a week from now. The next message will be roughly two weeks from when I'm speaking to you now. Now it's Sunday evening the 13th. Many of you will be seeing this on Monday the 14th. And by the time you see it, the midterm exam will be underway. Okay, This is our exam with 50 multiple choice and two false items that will cover units 3 and 4, uh, the, cl the class notes for units 3 and 4, plus three articles that I've asked you to look at related to the media and the Constitution, which are the m material we are covering in units 3 and 4. So that will be available for you to take for 24 hours on Monday, tomorrow, Monday the 14th. All right, after that then, everybody... Uh, we have just a few days left after that before we take Thanksgiving break. We're on quite a compressed schedule here in this eight-week fall term for the second eight-week term of the fall 2022 term. Um, keep in mind that if you want to do a term paper, and remember, term paper is optional, not required, uh, it might be a good idea to do something or put some effort in or look into what kind of topic you might be interested in working on before Thanksgiving break so that you don't have it all to do when you come back in the couple of weeks that we will have remaining. Now, I'd be happy to communicate with you about any topic that you might be considering. Remember, we got a document out to you that you should have at the beginning of the term describing the assignment and listing several topics you might consider along with information about each of those topics. Okay. Now, everybody, tomorrow, Monday, sometime over the course of the day, probably by the afternoon, I want to try to get an assignment out for a discussion for us to do before we go on Thanksgiving break. It'll be our second of three discussions, and we will do one more after Thanksgiving break. Now, once we finish with the midterm exam, we're going to have exam three, which I believe is scheduled for... Uh, Let's see now. I think that will be Friday, December 2nd, if I'm not correct. If I'm not mistaken. That's right. We come back on Monday the 28th. We take that exam on Friday the 2nd. Friday, December 2nd. And it will cover units 5 and 6 on the presidency and the federal bureaucracy. Then the final exam will be on the 13th and 14th of December, covering units 7 and 8 on the Supreme Court and Congress. And then after that, grades are due on Sunday, December 18th. Right, so we're dealing with quite a compressed schedule. We need to look at the presidency unit, unit 5, before Thanksgiving break. We'll come back and look at a very short unit on the federal bureaucracy once we get back, and then we'll be ready for our exam 3 on Friday, December 2nd. Okay. So look for an assignment to go out uh, sometime late Monday for a discussion, threaded discussion that we'll do, discussion two, that we'll do later in the week before we take off for Thanksgiving break, related to the presidency unit. And what this is going to be related to, I believe, is President Biden's activities, and especially a couple of addresses he has given over the past few weeks. And I'm going to include YouTube links to those addresses if you didn't get to see them. Okay. What was he trying to accomplish, and did it work, and was it a good idea? I think that's what our discussion is going to concern. Let me say this very quickly about the presidency unit. We talk about several of the recent presidents, going back to President Carter, through Reagan, and then on to George W. Bush, Obama, Trump, and Biden. We talk about different roles that the president is expected to play, or hats that the president is asked to wear. The president is asked to do many, many things at the same time, which is one of the reasons it's such a challenging, important job. 
Um, we look at the powers granted to the president in the Constitution, especially in the areas of national security, military affairs, and national defense. The Constitution also provides for the presidential election process. And we discuss that in this unit, although it's discussed in your textbook in the chapter on elections. The presidential election is different from just about any other election that we have. The Constitution makes provision for it. It is really stretched out over a tremendously long period of time, a couple of years these days. Because of the lengthy process we have to go through in choosing each major political party's presidential nominee before the general election that we have in November every four years. Okay. We discuss the resources that are available to the president. Say, if the president is trying to get an important bill through Congress and needs to put pressure on members of Congress, marshal the president's resources to try to make a case that Congress ought to pass a piece of legislation sponsored by the administration? What resources does the president have to bring the bear to bear to try to bring that about and pressure or persuade members of Congress to support the president on something like that? Finally, we want to discuss the apparatus around the president. The White House staff, what we call the executive office of the presidency, and some of the bureaucratic agencies that are put in place to provide support to the president. There are, depending on who's counting, several hundred people working more or less directly for the president in and around the White House. This is an apparatus we would not have found to nearly as large an extent before World War II. It's a sort of an innovation in the second half of the 20th century in the modern presidency. All right, so that, in a very brief nutshell, is what we're trying to do in Unit 5 uh, on the presidency. When we come back in two weeks, we'll have a bit to say about Unit 6 on the bureaucracy before we take that Exam 3 on December 2nd. What you have facing you now, though, okay, is the midterm exam on tomorrow, Monday the 14th. I'm speaking to you on Sunday. Many of you will be seeing this Monday, which is the day of the exam. You have 24 hours tomorrow, Monday the 14th, to take the exam. Then after that, we're going to try to get a discussion in before we go off for Thanksgiving break. So watch for an announcement about that discussion in your inbox. And we'll more than likely do that Wednesday through Friday before we take off for Thanksgiving break. All right then. So wish everybody good luck on the midterm exam tomorrow. We'll be speaking to you once again in about two weeks. So take it easy, study hard, and have a good break. And we'll be talking to you again roughly two weeks from tonight.